Hey everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will show you how to create a subdomain and install WordPress in Bluehost. I'm now inside my Bluehost account and to create a subdomain, simply go to websites. Then click on settings under the website you want to create a subdomain for. Click on Advanced and scroll down to cPanel. Next to it, click on Manage in order to access your cPanel. By the way, you can get access to my university for free where you can get many courses to help you with your online business. Right now, my courses include a course about Bluehost where you can learn many things including how to set up your website on Bluehost how to manage your email account, domain name, optimize performance, and also other things like billing and account management. To get access to my university for free today, just go to university.bainsexperience.com, link in the description. Let's go back to our tutorial. Now that you're inside your cPanel, scroll down to domains and click on domains. Click on this create a new domain button. Now fill in your subdomain, for example, blog.bensestingdomain.com. Here you can specify the folder name that will contain all of your website files. After that, click on submit. As you see, my subdomain was created successfully. Let's give it a visit. This is it. Click on this icon. If you see a DNS error like this one, this means that all you need to do is to just keep waiting for your DNS or name servers to take effect. Sometimes it takes just five minutes and it can take up to two days in some cases. Quick update after just around 15 minutes and also restarting my internet router in order to get a new IP address. I noticed that my new subdomain was added to my website's page. This is it, blog.bainstestingdomain.com. Let's view it live. And now it started showing this forbidden uh, error page. This means that the DNS uh, changes finally took effect after just 15 minutes. To install WordPress on this subdomain in Bluehost, simply go to your Bluehost account, click on hosting from this left side menu, then scroll down to quick links and hit this cPanel button. Now that you're inside cPanel, Scroll down to Software and click on WordPress Manager by Softaculous. Click on this Install Blue button. First, make sure that you're using the HTTPS instead of the HTTP for added security. And from this list, select your subdomain. This is it. Same thing with the WordPress. I recommend you to go with the latest WordPress version. Here you can give your site a name and a description. Let's go with blog. Give yourself an administration username that will also show up under or within your blog post. For example, Ben. For the password, create a strong password that you can still remember. Fill in your email address like Ben's experience.com from this list select your wordpress language i will go with english and here you can install some wordpress plugins that will be installed with your wordpress i prefer to install them later under advanced options give your database a name for example name it after your website for example blog pins Naming your database after your website name is useful for easy management, especially if you have multiple websites on Bluehost hosting. Now, under, team, under select teams, you can select your WordPress team. I, I prefer to do it later and hit this install button. 
my WordPress is now installing on my subdomain. And just like that, WordPress is successfully installed on your subdomain in Bluehost. Don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe.